Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. How are you? Welcome. Thank you. Fine. And you? I am very happy to be here with all of you. Okay. Excellent. We are very, very glad to listen to all of you. Hello, Elmer. Hello, Gustavo. Hello, Salvador. Welcome to another class. Hey, Gustavo, we missed you yesterday. Yes, I had a problem. Yeah, but thank God you are back. Is everything okay? All okay. Okay, good, very nice. So we're going to work on the class today. Yesterday we were working on schedules, right? We were working on schedules and the different uh, things that we do every day. And we were talking about daily activities. Today, we are going to talk about what? Do you remember the homework that I gave you yesterday? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yes, I remember. What is it? It was about? Uh, my house. Exactly, it was about the parts of the house, right? We yeah. were talking, we were going to talk about the parts of the house. That's what we are going to work on today. And yesterday we, well, I asked you to investigate a little bit about the parts of the house and the different things that we have in the house as well. I am going to share my presentation right now. And let me just open everything here. And we're going to work on the topic of the day, right? We're going to work on the parts of the house. What did you investigate about the topic? ¿Qué investigaron del tema? Uh -huh. Let me see who did the homework. Different parts of the house that you know. Chan, chan, chan. Any idea of vocabulary about the parts of the house? Good night, teacher. Hello, good evening, Ivan. It's a pleasure to have you here. Yesterday, I asked you a question, right? <clears throat> Ayer les hacía una pregunta. Is your house big or small? And many of you told me, no, my house is small. My house is medium size. My house is not big. Gustavo, is your house big or small? Mm, I think it's a medium size. Medium size, right? It's a medium size house. Well, uh, just to remember the agreements of the classes, practice your English as much as possible, ask for help whenever you need. Keep your cameras on, please. I can only see Gustavo and I don't see the other cameras. Thank you, Ivan. Uh, thank you very much. I can see you now. Attend all your sessions on time, participate as much as possible, keep a cooperative attitude during class and for sure collaborate if anyone needs help on the WhatsApp groups. This was the question, right? Is your house big or small? Do you live in a small house or in a big house? And you say, I live or I have a small house or I have a big house. It is curious because when you start counting the rooms, counting the doors, counting the windows, the objects in your house, you see that your house is very big, right? Ya van a dar cuenta cuando contemos los objetos, las cosas, los cuartos. It would be like, my God, I have a lot of things in the house. <laughs> my house is small, but I have many things in it. Well, vocabulary about the parts of the house. We have different sections in the houses. 
We have, for example, the first floor, that it can be un primer piso, right? If you have two uh, different floors in your house, you have the first floor and the second floor. And you have places like the dining room, that it's the place where you eat, right? Where you have the table and where you eat. The living room is la sala, right? The living room is la sala. The next one that you have there is the kitchen. The kitchen is the place where you cook, the kitchen. The laundry room is the place where you wash the clothes, right? The laundry room, this one, the laundry room. The kitchen is where you cook. The living room is where you uh, watch tea, right? A stairs son gradas, stairs. The garage is where you put the car or the motorcycle or the bicycle, right? The garage. The yard is patio frontal. I don't know if you have heard in the American countries. No sé si han escuchado alguna vez algún, alguna persona de Estados Unidos que dice, eh, limpiamos la yarda, dice. <laughs> But it's the yard, it's the name in English, that it's the front garden, right? But people say la yarda because it's the name that they give, right? Es como la cora, que solo adoptan el nombre. La cora es un adoptado de quarter of dollar. Quarter is un cuarto de dólar. But any person said like quarter, quarter. Ah, yo no puedo decir quarter, puedo decir cora. Cora, y le quedó cora forever, right? It's that it's, it's un cuarto de dólar. The same thing with the yard. Bedroom is the place where you sleep where you have your bed, bed room, right? It's a room for the bed. Bath room is a room for the bath, for you to bath, right? For you to shower, the bathroom. Bathroom is private. If you go, for example, to Metro Centro and you need to go to the restroom, it's called restroom. Restroom is a public bathroom, right? I am going to write it here. Si estuviéramos en clases presenciales y me dicen, teacher, can I go to the bathroom? Va a ir hasta su casa, al baño. Teacher, can I go to the restroom? Yes. The restroom is public. The bathroom is private. The next one, we have the hall. The hall is pasillo. Right, closet, armario. And let me see, we have a stairs, right? Stairs, what is the meaning of a stairs? Gradas, right? Elevator, in some cases, in some buildings, you have elevators, right? And if it is a building, right? Si es un edificio, like this one, Maybe you are going to have a lobby. The lobby is the entrance of the place, right? El, donde reciben a todo el mundo, right? The lobby. It's the, the main entrance. So we have the different parts of the house. Practice with me. You have dining room. Dining room. Okay, it's not dining room. It's not dining room, please. Dining room. Dining room. Dining room. Dining room. Living room. Living room. Living room. Kitchen. Kitchen. Laundry room. Laundry room. Laundry room. Garage. Garage. Closet. Closet. Bedroom. Bedroom. Hall. 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 Stairs. Stairs. Let me see. Closet. 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 Okay, the next one. Let me see. I lost the presentation. Here I go. And lobby. The lobby. 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 Elevator. 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 Good. Elevator. No problem with this one. Oh, here we can have we can have a garden. 
right? Garden. Garden. Yeah. Garden, garden is jardin, right? Garden in yard. Yard. Yard, that is jardin frontal, right? Prefer. Yes. Yard. Garden is in general, right? Garden is jardin in general. And yard is jardin frontal. So, if you think about your house, what rooms do you <clears throat> have in your house? What rooms do you have in your house? Because I asked you the first question already. Is your house big or small? I ask you this one. Esta es tú. And the next question. Do you live in a house or in an apartment? I live in a house. In a house. I live in a house. In a house. In a house. And yes. the rest of you? Everybody I live in the house too. lives in a house. Good, good. Everybody lives in a house? None of you lives in an apartment? No. No. So, yeah. who lives in an apartment? Me. Jairo. Okay, Jairo, you live in an apartment. So, yes. that's good. So, you see many different people there in the different houses, and maybe you have a lobby as well. Tienen un lugar donde se reciben todos. The question that I have for everybody is this one, and you are going to work a little bit on it. What rooms are in your house? You are going to answer this question in the following way. I am going to ask, okay, here you have. What rooms are in your house? You need to create your answer. Tienen que crear su respuesta. And it says, my house is big. It has nine rooms, nine rooms. The living room, the kitchen, the dining room, the garage, two bathrooms, two bedrooms, and the studio. Okay? Maybe they are in the same place, but what rooms do you have in your house? Count the rooms, okay? Tienen que empezar por contar cuántos cuartos tienen. Cuartos significa, pues, lugares de la casa, right? No solo el dormitorio. And I need you to tell me which rooms do you have in your house? So please create your answer. Voy a dar unos minutos para que creen su respuesta. According Peter, to your house, okay? Yes? Peter, can you send the presentation of the difference between house and apartment? Ah, okay. This one. I am going to send it to you right now. Okay, let me, let me just, okay, this is the next, this part. Yes, yes, please. Okay, I am going to send it to you in this moment. Thank you. Okay, here I go. Here I go, here I go. And yes. Ta-da. There you go. Okay. Yes. There you have it on your on your WhatsApp. So here, here is the description that you are going to create. Okay, le voy a dar unos minutitos para que terminen su descripción. About your house, okay? Do it in your notebook, please. I need you to do your answer on your notebook. And for the rest of you, I cannot see Angelica, Eduardo, Elmer, Salvador, Jairo. Hoy no los veo. ¿Dónde están? Carlita. Aquí estoy. <laughs> no, I cannot see Hello. you. I, I can only see Gustavo, Marvin, and Iván. Hello, teacher. I'm Thank here. you, Gerardo. Very good. <laughs> But I cannot see your camera. There you es go. Que, es que no me he bañado, por eso. Ay, come on. Sorry, teacher, my ay, camera ay. no work. Ay, ay, ay. We are going to see. Thank you, Eduardo. I can see you now. Es que así, si lo dejo trabajando, veo que están trabajando. Okay. Hello, teacher. Hi. <laughs> no me he bañado. Dicen, come on. <laughs> yes, I don't. Take a shower. Oh, come on. Thank you. Too much, too much information. I have, 
Because I have a big cueva. Come on. <laughs> you say, I feel lazy today. I feel Teacher. lazy today. Yes, Angelica? How do you say um, segunda sala? A second living room. Oh, do, you have, do you have a second living room? Oh my God. I only it's have one. Ah, okay. It's little. <laughs> Yeah. It's a me. Yeah. It's a, it's a mansion. Yeah, uh, yes. No. <laughs> yeah. I, I have never I have never said that to my guests. Passing a la segunda sala. Never. <laughs> there you go, Jairo. You see? Now Jairo, you don't have to say I have hueva. No, no, no. You say I feel lazy today. Le hice muy, muy, muy fresa. Ah, come on. Lazy mood on. <laughs> yeah, all the, all the English sounds very, very picky. Picky Teacher. is fresa. Ajá, yes. Y, y una terraza cuenta como un, igual, como un cuarto. Yes. Sí. Yes, a terrace. Okay. Terrace. Terrace, yes. Wow, you have a terrace. My goodness, a second living room. I live in a small house, teacher. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, I believe it. Uh -huh. Two garage. Two garage, two gardens. A, a pool. A pool, a, a jacuzzi. It's a small house, teacher. I have a different one in El Tunco that it's bigger. The playroom. The playroom. Do you have a boys' room too, right? Okay. Do you have your answer? Did you finish with your answer? Yeah, a terrace. And I'm going to send it to you in the chat as well. It is the same, but with C at the end. Okay. Here I am going to write it in parentheses. A terrace. This is the way you write it. A terrace. A pool, a swimming pool, a second garden. How do you say in English, cuarto de lavandería? A laundry, laundry room, laundry room. I am going to write it for teacher, you in the chat. Yes? Teacher, e laundry room va separado va unido? No, it's separate. A laundry room, a terrace. I send it to you in the chat as well. A storage room. What is a storage room? Una bodega, right? A storage room. In every Salvadorian house, you have one room that is a storage room. Ese cuarto al que nadie entra y nadie quiere llegar. Y nadie quiere ordenar. It's nadie a storage ordenar. room. Yeah. Christmas is over to the storage room. The TV is broken to the storage room. The poor chucho there to the storage room. <laughs> And the cat in the storage room. Oh. Visita toda la storage room. <laughs> the storage room. Okay, and the studio, the studio is a place in your house where it's like kind of an office, right? That is a studio. My office is my, is a... The uh, dining room. The dining room. The dining room. The dining room is the living. I think it's with COVID, everything turns into an office. The office is the bedroom.
Okay. Okay. Let's work then. What rooms do you have in your house? Who is going to start with the answers? ¿Quién empezar? Let's see. In the list. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah, Marvin is the first one in the list. Go ahead. Uh, my house is medium. It has eight rooms. Okay. Uh, the living room. The kitchen. The dining room. One bathroom. Two bedroom, a terrace, and the garage. Only that. <laughs> only, only. Only that. Okay, Marvin, who is the next one? You choose the next one. Mm. Go ahead, siguiente. Mm. Gerardo. Hi. <laughs> uh, no, the house is small. Yes, the, the living room, the kitchen, the garage, the garden, two bedroom, one bathroom, and one the laundry room. It's a small, right? <laughs> Very good. Gerardo, who's next? Uh, Angelica. Angelica, go ahead. My house is medium size. It has my room. Um, it has night room, the kitchen, the dining room, the garage, the bedroom, two living rooms. One is big and the other is little. Two bedrooms, the laundry room, the studio, and the garage. It is a medium sized house, right? It is, yes. it has nine rooms and it's nice, right? Very good. Thank you, Angelica. Who's next? Um, Jairo. Jairo, go ahead. Um, okay, my house is small. It has three bedrooms, uh, a laundry room, kitchen, Living room, dining room, and two bathrooms. Only that. <laughs> I very Only good. That. Jairo, who's it's next? Small. It's a small house. Who's next? Gustavo. Gustavo, go ahead. O la casa de, de playa o la casa, o la casa habitación, Gustavo. <laughs> habitación. <laughs> My house is medium size. It has three bedrooms, two bathrooms. One living room, the dining room, the kitchen, backyard, backyard, it's okay? Yes. Okay, backyard, uh, the garage, and a small studio. Only that, right? A small studio, oh, yeah. right? <laughs> Only that, very good. The dining room, right? Dining room. Dining Who, room, okay. Who's next, Gustavo? Uh, Mario. Mario, go ahead. Okay, okay. Well, maybe my house is big, maybe. Go ahead. <laughs> I have a living room, a dining room, the kitchen, the garage, two bathrooms, um, four bedrooms, the studio, the terrace, and the yard. Yes. It's a hotel. It's a, it's a little hotel. Yeah, it is, <laughs> it is a big house. Very nice. Maybe. Imagine... Imagine all the process of cleaning. Oh my God. I, I have three floors. Three floors? Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. Maybe it's big. Maybe. Uh -huh, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Todos podríamos vivir ahí. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Let's continue. <laughs> yeah, imagínense la limpieza. Pobre esposa de Mario. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> Mario, who's next? Okay, um, Carla? Carlita, go ahead. Carlita, hello. Well, I'll talk to you again. 
<ríe> se me va, yo creo que tiene mala conexión. Eh, let's see, eh, Mr. Eduardo Vladimir, go ahead. Eh, hello. Uh, the description of my house is medium. Uh, ten, un garage. Uh, for, for two vehicles. A living room. Uh, seven rooms. Uh, three bedroom. Uh, dining room. Chick. Uh, kitchen, uh, laundry and washing uh, machine arm, general garden space, um, uh, uh, indoor garden. Yeah, it's a, it's a small house. Yeah, it, well, it is very spacious, very nice, Eduardo. So you have a dining room. Remember the pronunciation, dining room, dining room. Let's go with Mr. Luis Gonzalez. Okay, pero no veo la pantalla, Ticia. No sé qué dice. No, but it's about your house. Tienen que escribir la suya. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, my, my house is small. It has three bedroom, one bedroom, uh, um, uh, one garage for two two cars. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, the kitchen, one kitchen, one living room, and dining dining room. And the dining room. A small house. Yes, yeah, small. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Thank you very much. Let's go with Mr. Ivan. Go ahead. Good night, uh, partners. Hello. Um, my house is small. Um, um, I have two bedrooms, uh, the kitchen and dining room the bathroom, the living room, and the laundry room. Only that. It's, it's all. <laughs> Very good, a nice house. Very nice. Mr. Salvador Sosa. Hello. Hello. Uh, my house is small. She has three room. The kitchen. Uh -huh. It's tight. One garden, uh, one bathroom, one living room. Explaining everything. It is a small house. I think we have problems with Salvador's connection, right? We have problems with his connection, but he explained everything very well, right? Very good. Mi conexión escucho por No, Jairo, it was Salvador's connection. Poor Salvador, but he explained everything, and he has a small house, and he has. Uh, different rooms in the house, the living room, the bedroom, the bathroom, the garage, and a little garden. Let me see. Uh, who am I missing? Uh, let me see, let me see. Elmer, did you explain your house? Okay, teacher. Go ahead. Uh, my house is small. It has... Um,
The microphone, Elmer. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's a small house. Uh, it has uh, three bedrooms, uh, the living room, the bathroom, the kitchen, the hallway in the middle. Okay. Uh, the garden, uh, garage, and the rice, and a storage room. Hey, very okay. nice. Yeah, a small house. Yeah, I, I really, small. I really like when you say it's a small house. It has a terrace, a garage, and this and this and this and that. And in fact, you know, my house is very small, but counting the rooms, it's big. Because imagine, I was like, no, si la casa es chiquita, ajá, pero cuántos cuartos tiene, cuántas divisiones tiene. So it has nine rooms, right? Very good job. With the house and with the rooms comes the objects. In your WhatsApp, I sent you a document that has a lot of vocabulary about the house. Take your time to see it. Si tienen tiempo, lo van ahí con, con calma. It has a lot of vocabulary about the house, the parts of the house, the objects in the house, so you are going to find the uh, you are going to find all the different descriptions of the vocabulary in the document. Did you receive it? Todos recibieron el documento in your WhatsApp. Yeah, group? I can see. I can yes. see. Yes. Yes. It is a very big yes. and detailed document. Okay. So I sent you a lot of things for you to study. Say, no me digan que no les mando que estudiar porque ahí tienen para entretenerse. So here we have different uh, objects that we have in the house. Salvadorian families love to collect objects. Even if they don't work, they collect it. Even if they don't work. If not, pregúntele a su papá. Papá, votemos eso. No, lo voy a ocupar. <laughs> when, we don't know, but one day it is going to use it. Si no es su papá, pues usted se convierte en su papá. <laughs> votemos ese tele que ya no sirve. No, 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 no. We are going to fix it. Lo vamos a mandar a arreglar. When, we never know, but it's there. The fan, right? El ventilador. It's broken. Ahí se arruinó. Botémoslo, mamá. No, 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 no. Le vamos a comprar la pieza. Never. It never happens. Never. Never in the life. Put it in the, in the garbage. Right? La, la silla con la pata quebrada. Right? Ahí le ponen un voladito. La vamos a mandar a arreglar. Never. It never happens. In El Salvador, it's very common that we collect a lot of objects. Si no hablemos de cumbos y cuchumbos con, tapa, con tapadera, porque woo, we are going to end up here the whole night. But here I have some examples of objects that we have in the house. We have armchairs. Armchairs are these type of sofas that have these things, right? Armchairs. Sofas, pero con... Eh, reposabrazos, right? Those are armchairs. The next one, we have stove, right? The stove. Table. Coffee table. Coffee table is the one that it's in the living room, in the center of the living room. Lo último que se toma ahí es café, pero it's a coffee table. Coffee table. Bookcase. Book case is librera. Librera, that in many cases you have a lot of adornitos, right? But you don't have books. It's a bookcase. Here you have a dresser. Dresser is gavetero. Dresser, right? Dresser. Chairs, sillas. Microwave oven, microwave oven. Curtains. Curtains. Chair. Yes. I have a question. Question me. Why microwave oven? Ah, because. No, only microwave. Okay, microwave is the name, 
but it's like microondas. Uh, oven is horno. horno. Uh -huh. Microwave is only microondas, but if you say microwave oven is horno microondas, que es el nombre real del objeto, right? Microwave oven. That's why. And then you have pictures, refrigerator, or fridge, right? It is difficult to say refrigerator, okay? You can call it fridge, right? You can call it fridge. It's easier, fridge or refrigerator. The next one that we have is clock, lamps, bed, desk, sofa, mirror. Mirror is a spejo, right? Rug and television, television. Practice with me, armchairs. Armchair. Armchair. Arm. Table. Table. Coffee table. Bookcase. Dresser. Stub. Curtains. Microwave oven. Chairs. Mirror. Refrigerator. Lamps. 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 Pictures. Pictures. Clock. 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 Bed. 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 Desk. 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 Television. 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 Rug. 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 Sofa. 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 Very good. So these are different objects that you can have in your house. Any problem with pronunciation? No? No. Okay. So if we don't have problems with pronunciation, then we can go to the practice of the class. Here we have, right, the rooms of the house. And here I have a short conversation for us to practice. And it says, guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well. well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? On Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Right? It has a great view of another apartment building. When you say, guess what? It's like, adivina. Guess what? I have a new apartment. Go with me. Guess what? I have a new apartment. Guess what? I have a new apartment. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? That's, That's great. great. That's nice. It's really beautiful. It's, it's really, really beautiful. Really beautiful. Is it very big? Is it very big? It's very big. Well, it has a living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Well, it has a room, a bedroom, a bedroom, a bedroom, a bedroom, a bedroom, a kitchen. Where is it? Where Where is it? Is it? On Lakeview Drive. On Lakeview Lake Drive. 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 Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Oh, no. Oh, no. Does it have a view? Have a view? Have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Yes, it yes, does. It does. Yes, 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 it Okay, the name of the place is Lakeview Drive. It's like Vista Lago. 
That's the name of the place, right? Vista Lago. That's why it's like, hey, does it have a view? <laughs> yes, of another building <laughs> in front of another building, right? So, o sea, el lugar se llama Lakeview Drive, uh -huh. pero no significa que tenga un lago. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, the name, it's Lakeview Drive, right? But it doesn't have anything to do with any lake, right? Here, like in uh, Barrio California, in Santa Ana, uh, it's not California. <laughs> it's just the barrio, right? Barrio California. ¿Dónde vivís? En Los Ángeles. Really? Yeah, el barrio, Los Ángeles. <laughs> Come on. So it's like, no. <laughs> In Londres. <laughs> In Lourdes. In Londres. <laughs> it's true. In Londres. Yeah. So let's go here. I am going to be Linda for sure. <laughs> and you're going to be Chris. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. great. What is life? It's, like? it's, like. it's really beautiful. It is really beautiful. beautiful. Uh, well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? On Lakeview Drive. Oh, oh nice. nice. Oh, nice. Oh, Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Now, all of you are lindos. And I'm going to be Chris. Okay, for sure you are cute. One, two, three, go. Yes, yes well, I have a new apartment. No les creo ese guess what. No me lo dicen con emoción. Guess what, I have a new apartment. Okay, one, two, three. Guess, Guess what? what? I have a new apartment. Wow. That's great. What's it like? It's really, really beautiful. beautiful. Really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, well, well it's a beautiful room. A small bedroom, a bedroom, and a kitchen. A kitchen. Where is it? Oh, oh, like you drive. Like drive. You drive. oh nice. Does it have a view? Building. It has a great view of another apartment building. So English is very important that you put the feeling into the words because if not, you don't give the correct intonation. Imagine if you come to me and you say, guess what? Si le digo el, guess what? Son malas noticias. Pero si le digo, hey, guess what? It's like, I have a chambre for you. I have something to tell you. I have a gossip for you. But if you say, mm, yeah, guess what? Hey, what happened? You say, what happened? What's the matter? Uh, you Do you know a, a, a Kaiser, your dog? Huh? What happened to Kaiser? So you feel worried, right? So fleeing. But if you say, hey, guess what? I have a new apartment. Oh, that's great. Right? You have to sound happy. Porque si llega su amigo y le dice, hey, tengo un nuevo apartamento. Y se le, hmm, that's great. Es like, ah, ya no te cuento nada. <laughs> And then you go. So you have to put the feeling into the conversations in English. That's very nice. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. great. That's great. That's great. What is life? <laughs> That's great. What is life? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? It's well, very big. It is very big. Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? 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 On Lakeview Drive. Oh, oh nice. 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 Have you? Have you? Have you? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. So you see, you see the difference of the conversation when you put the feeling on it. Thank you, students. Very good job. I think you deserve a little star for your great job. I will give you a little heart for your great job. So questions that we have been studying in the sentences today. 
questions with do and does. When you use questions with do and does, for sure you are going to have answers with yes and no, right? Do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do the bathrooms have windows? Yes, they do. No, they don't. If you are going to talk about a third person, he, she, or it, does Chris live in a house? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does Hyde or live in a house? No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. He lives in? In an apartment. He lives in an apartment. Does the house have a yard? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. You use it because you are talking about the house, right? You are talking about the house. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. So that is the form of questions. If I ask you, Ivan, do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do or no, I don't. No, I don't. Very good. Uh, let me see. No, Gust I don't. Gustavo, does your bedroom have a window? Uh, yes. The bedroom has a window. Very good. Or you can say, yes, it does. Yes, it does. <laughs> Very good. Yes, it does. So you say, does the bedroom have a window? Yes, it does. Marvin, do you live in an apartment? No, I don't. No, I don't. Very good. Angelica, do you live in a big house? No, I don't. <laughs> a second living room. Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do, you say. Yeah, it's, it's a big house. So this is the form that we use for the questions. We need to be very careful to use the auxiliary, the subject, the verb, and the complement, right? Do you live? Do the bedrooms have, right? Remember that we use it in the normal form. And if you use does, for sure, the verb is going to be normal. Tell me, do you have a TV in the living room? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. do you yes, have do. a TV in your bedroom? No, yes, I do. No, I don't. I don't. Do you have two refrigerators? No, I don't. Only one, you say. Do you have a dog in your house? No, I don't. Yes, yes I, I, do. Do. I do. I have three dogs. Yes, I have. I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I have. Right. Do you have a cat in your house? No, I don't. I don't. No, I don't. No, I do. No, I do have. Yes, I do. So you have a cat. Do you have birds in your house? No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. Do you have a turtle in your house? I don't. No, I don't. Do you have many plants in your house? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Do you have three computers in your house? No, I don't. No, yes, no I, don't. I don't. No, I don't. Very good. Just you, one. Maybe. Just one. <laughs> maybe a lot of parts of computer. Yeah, hi. Oh my God, you work on that. Let me see. Do you have a dining? table do you have a dining table in the dining room yes i do yes, yes I, do. I, do. I, do. I do very good no, do dining you have table, desk, office. <laughs> a little bit of everything right do you have a storage room no i don't yes, no i, I do yes, I don't. Don't. do you have geckos in your house Yes, I do. I do. <laughs> the gecko. Do you have? No, they are a pet. <laughs> they are the pets. Do you have roaches in They're your pets. house? Roaches? Oh. No, I don't. Because no. I don't have gecko. <laughs> only, only gecko. <laughs> only gecko. If you have geckos, you don't have roaches because they eat them. <laughs> well. One or two mice, maybe, right? Do you know what's the meaning of mice? Mice? Do you I know? Don't. 
No, I don't. <laughs> Ratones. No, I don't. <laughs> if you have a cat, you don't have mice. What different between mice and mouse? Okay, very good question. Mouse is only one. Mice is a problem. Mm. <laughs> mice okay, okay. is plural. The best. It's yeah, a <laughs> it's a pest. <laughs> yeah, mouse is only one, right? <laughs> only one. But mice is a lot of animals, right? More than one. A community. A plague? community. Plague? Oh, no. say plague? A plague. 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 A plague, plague, right? Yeah, that's a plague, right? If you have more than one, it's a plague. So it's like, ne. <laughs> Get a cat. <laughs> si tienen más de uno, consigase un gato, and that's it. Yeah. El gato le va a temer a los ratones. <laughs> yeah, I would be like, sure. no, right? Yes. That's a very nice. nice how, how do you say, how do you say zancudo in English? Ah, mosquitoes. 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 I hate mosquitoes. them. Mosquitoes. Right now, it's very common, right? Everywhere. You have mosquitoes everywhere. It's a big problem in El Salvador. So, based on we, what we have been studying, we are going to complete the conversation, right? We were using do and does for the conversations. And here I have a short conversation. Do you live in an apartment? You say, no, I don't. don't. No, no, I, I don't. don't, right? Si estamos ocupando el auxiliar do, for sure, on the answer, you are going to have an answer with do as well in negative. No, I don't. I, I live, I live uh, in a house, right? I live in a house. house. It a yard. How do you complete that one, Gerardo? Does it. Mr. Gerardo, can you help us to complete the second one? Lo perdimos. Does it? Does? Does it have? Does it have a yard? Yes, it does. Does, right? Because you have used does in the question. That sounds nice. You alone? Do. Do you, do you live alone? Do you live alone? Do you, do you live, live alone? alone? Right? Do you live alone? Uh, no, I don't. No, I don't. Right? No, I don't. I live. I live. I live with my family. You, any brothers or sisters? Do you have? Do you have? Do you have? Do you have, right? Do you have, do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I have, I have four sisters. That's a big family. You, a big house? Do you, do you live? Do you have, do you have? Do you have a big, house. a big house? Yes, we. Yes, we, yes, we do. do. Yes, we do. It. It does. It has. It has. We are talking it has. about the house. It has. It has, it has, 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 has. Ten rooms. Ten rooms. Does. Many bedrooms. Does it have? 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 Does it Does it have? Does it have? Does Does it Does it Estamos hablando de la casa. Has. It has Does. four. You, your own bedroom? Do you have? Do you have? Do you have? Very good. Do you have your own bedroom? Yes, I do. I do. Yes, I do. 
I am really lucky. Okay, students, do you live in an apartment? No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. I don't. I live in a house. I live in a house. Does it have a yard? Does it have a yard? Yes, it does. Yes, it, is. it does. Yes, it does. That, that it sounds does. nice. Do you live alone? Okay, I live live es cuando hacemos live on Facebook, right? I live with my family. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I have four yes, or sisters. That's a big family. Do you have a big house? We do. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. That's ten, yes, so ten, ten rooms. Ten rooms. Does it have many bedrooms? Yes, it does. Yes, it, it does. has four. It has four. Do you have your own bedroom? Yes, yes I, do. I, do. I do. I am, I am really lucky. lucky. I am really lucky, right? I am really lucky. So, really lucky. so you have to be very careful about what you are talking. Because if you use do and does, for sure the answers is going to be related to the question that you use. If you say, do you live in a house? Yes, I do. No, I don't. If I say, does it have many bedrooms? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Right? So you have to be careful about the form of the question and the answer that you use. Okay, so uh, we need to be very careful about that. Here, I have another practice about this. Here, but this one, you are going to do it on your own. I think I have the answers right here. Oh my God. Wait, what kind of questions? <laughs> I left the answers. And there you go, yes? Teacher. Yes. Teacher. Uh, yes. I am really lucky. Es como decir, eh, estoy impresionado, algo así. No, tengo mucha suerte. Ah, okay. I am really lucky. It means that you you are like uh, when you say, for example, it's like tengo la suerte. Muy afortunado. Eh? Soy muy afortunado. Exactly like that, right? So muy afortunado. So on this one, I have here. My living room has a sofa, a rug, and a television. Can you tell me what objects do you have in the place that you are right now? Can you tell me the objects that you have in the place that you are right now? Yes. What objects do you have right there? My living room has a sofa, a storybook, and a TV. And a TV, good. What other objects do you have in the room that you are right now? Uh, uh, how do you say, Mr. The comedor. Uh, comedor? A dining table. Dining table. Sure. A, okay. dining. a dining table. Yes. I heard a teacher, but I don't know who was. Picture. Ah, picture. Hey, uh, you have a you have a picture there as well. So Jairo, you have pictures, a dining table, a television, a bookcase, and the computer. Only that. Only okay. that. Okay, yes. Gustavo, what do you have in the room that you are right now? I have a, a desk, a printer. I don't know, how do you say, robotito? Um, that's a, <laughs> a dresser. A it dresser. can be a dresser. Okay, a dresser. Um, a fan? A fan? Only that, Only that. good. Mm -hmm. Mario, what do you have in the room that you have that you are right now? This chair, printer, lamp, sofa. Uh -huh. Only that. 
that. <laughs> Only that, then the computer, right? Marvin, what do you have in the room that you are right now? Uh, uh, the closet, uh, the fan, uh, the bed, and the chair. And then uh, my shoes. <laughs> Only that. <laughs> and the computer, right? Eduardo, what do you have in the room that you are right now? Um, I have a printer, a desk lever, um, computer. Yeah. The computer? Mm -hmm. yeah. Only that. Only that. And the chair, right? For sure, the chair. Gerardo, what do you have in the room that you are right now? Uh, my desk, my computer, my my bed, a mirror, television, uh, one chair, uh, my cell phone, a uh, notebook. Then a notebook. Okay. So, uh, students, practice for tomorrow about the objects that you have in the different rooms of the house because you are going to be talking about that in the class tomorrow, okay? We are going to be talking about the different rooms and the different objects. So please practice. Have a beautiful night and I am going to see you tomorrow for the next class. Have a beautiful night. Take see care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Rest a lot. Bye.